And Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan and fellow GOP lawmakers tell One America News they remain optimistic about the prospect of winning the House Speakership. Here's One America's John Heinz with more from Capitol Hill. Congressman Jordan, what uh, what happens now, sir? We'll, we'll continue to um, visit with members. We, I mean, I told, you know, Speaker McCarthy had like a two-month runway when he was nominated and and when he uh, ultimately became a speaker. So we've been at this a couple days. Uh, and then, of course, there was that whole first week in, in, uh, in January. Um, but we've got a cross-section of the conference. You know, we've got from the more conservative to the more moderate. We've got the, the people in the Main Street group, people who are in the defense industry. We've got the appropriators, we've got our defense hawks, I should say. And so we've got a, a good cross-section of the conference. Um, so we'll just keep talking and uh, decide when we, uh, when we go to the floor next. Uh, what do you make of uh, some new names coming up? Uh, John Boehner, I think, Kay Granger? It's up to the individual members what, the, what they do. Um, yeah, that's always uh, interesting uh, names that get, uh, get you know, put into... Uh, Are these just form. protest votes or...? or I, don't, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, you know, I just know that we've got 200 Republicans who are for us. Um, I think we can get there, and we're going to keep keep working at it. Will you will you conference now? Have another vote today? We'll Any about that? Yeah. Up in the air. Yep. Well, 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 I, I got to talk with Elise about that. Thank. You. Thank you, sir. Congressman Perry, your colleague, Mr. Jordan, didn't quite get the votes for a speaker. What seems to be going on? Well, I think there was a big push. We thought he might lose up to 28 votes. So actually gain some votes. Some people flip back over. There's some folks that are trying to make a statement here, but I think at the end of the day, after we go through this for a little while, they're going to be for Jordan and we'll get there. How many ballots do you think it might take? Sir? Well, I'm, I'm, not a good, I'm not a good predictor of the future. If I were, I probably wouldn't be here, but um, I think it's going to take a couple. Some people want to make a statement and they, they're going to take a few times to do that. But again, I think eventually they're going to be for Jordan and we're going to get this accomplished. I think three members are still voting for Lee Zeldin. He's, he's not a member of Congress currently. That seems like a, a sort of a unique choice. Any thoughts about that? I, I think it's a protest uh, of sorts, but I, I'm a fan of Lee Zeldin as well. And, uh, and he's a friend, so I don't think he wants the job. But again, I think there's a, there's a, these are statements that are being made. And I would just say to all my friends and colleagues, what is your message? If you like Jim Jordan, I think most of these people do. They'll tell you he's a fine individual, he's a good man, he's a likable person. Why aren't you voting for him? I'm not sure what that answer is to their bosses, their constituents, but that's between them, I suppose. What is your sense about why some of your colleagues <clears throat> have uh, been opposed to Mr. Jordan, would you suppose? It, there's an array of reasons. Um, some people just are going to be opposed to anybody other than Speaker McCarthy because that was who was duly elected the first time. Um, some people are maybe just going to be opposed to anybody other than Steve Scalise because he won a race and they're going to stick there. Uh, maybe some people just don't see Jim Jordan as the person that they want third in line to the presidency. For me, uh, I support Jim Jordan. I think he would be a great Speaker of the House. I would trust him to be third in line to the presidency, and I think he has a lot that he can bring to our conference as a leader. What seems to be the state of the Speaker's vote right now? I, I think we'll go back to the floor or conference one or the two over the next couple of hours, have, have a discussion. I'm sure Jim's still out there making phone calls and seeing if they can move some people. And it's, um, you know, as I've said before, I mean, Jim, Jim's a good friend of mine. He's a great guy. The, the tactics that some of the people that are surrounding him took, I think, are, are uh, creating the problems for him getting the votes to, to get across the floor. I mean, he's a good man. He's a good, solid conservative. He's a good strategist. Um, and if given the chance, he'd be a, he'd be a good speaker, I think. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, but it, it's uh, you know, it took McCarthy 14 rounds. I, was it 14 rounds? So so we're only two in. Very good. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.